Now recording. Okay, we are now heating the blue crystalline solid. This commentary will be on the internet later. Right, so I'm heating it gently. I'm looking for cracks on the tube to start with. I'm a very cautious kind of guy. And if I'm in a group, I wouldn't be aiming the test tube to any of my mates. Right? Now, it's, it appears to be melting. I think I can probably now warm it. Look, now, initial stop and look. Can you see the blue solid has gone green around the edges and it appears to be melting or dissolving? It's probably dissolving because it's releasing some water, I guess. Right, heating it more strongly. I want to get evidence of water coming away. So I'm listening. Can we hit the fan switch please, Ashley? Bubbling. Yeah, it's bubbling. It's not doing the normal decrepitation sound, so it doesn't decrepitate fan on. But we've got a nice kind of bluey green colour happening here, but it's definitely now all liquid. Now I need to just, at this point, warm and concentrate on my, what my hands are feeling like. I don't want to burn them. Probably, can I see something happening in that tube? Look, there's some steam coming off. I'm going to go to the tongs, because it's actually getting quite hot. And I'll move my MP3 player, because I don't want that boiling on that. That would be really very funny, but not funny to me. I did actually do an experiment one time in a school in London where we were working with manometers, right? There was this big frame full of water, and some student was, we were measuring lung pressures or something, and his lung pressure was so great, he was able to blow the water right out of the system, and the water went out in a beautiful arc. We watched it, and it all went into my briefcase. <laughs> perfectly. It was like just all of it went into the briefcase. Now, I'm going to heat this quite strongly. I'm determined I'm going to heat it quite... I've obviously got to reduce it to get rid of some of the water. I'm confident I'm not going to say, oh, it's not working, Mr. Graham. I'm going to hear that in a minute. But I'm going to just get rid of the water first. I'm not in a hurry. See the steam coming off? There's an awful lot of water here. But it's drying up. Drying up all of the time. Keep moving it, keep moving it. And I'm watching now at this point here. I'm at a point where I think, oh, it's going to crack. So you'll see a green flame. But watch now, it's actually going to start doing something different. Because it's got really thick and pasty. And I'm hoping any second now we'll see what we're expecting. Can you hear it like it's gone all really pasty inside? Oh, it's really taking its time, but I'm, I'm confident it'll do it. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. This is where the, uh, look, can you see? So at this point here now, I'm going to, oh, look at that smoke, beautifully going to that capturing up there. Please write that in your report, that the teacher does care about your safety, that he is not letting you breathe this horrible stuff, it's the people outside will be breathing. Okay? What is that gas called? We recognise that gas as nitrogen dioxide. There would also be oxygen coming away. And can we generalise at the colour of what's inside? Dark green going to what colour would you say, Ricky? Black. The more we heat this, the more it's going to go black and go to copper oxide, which is what I'm expecting. That is a classic little decomposition. And I'm going to stop this recording.